My name is Amy Rowetter. I am a kindergarten teacher here at Lake Orion Community Schools at Stadium Drive Elementary. My name is Jill Potter and I'm the kindergarten reading interventionist. I had noticed we'd gotten away from some of those basics and some of those foundational skills. We didn't have a curriculum, we didn't have a real direction on how to use that. Now we were given some materials and some okay and some training to go ahead and go back to those phonics. For me, with the phonics first, I think it's been a great component to tie in from the classroom into small group instruction. We've been able to work well together. The materials are well written for an educator. You can kind of take it home, look at it, look at it and it makes sense. It was pretty easy to implement into your classroom. I personally do it as my first strategy in my language block every day. A positive strategy for the students that I'm working with is absolutely tapping out words. We start out with the large segmenting part where they're stretching out and hearing the sounds at the beginning, the middle, and the end. As the year progresses, we're tapping out words on our arms and then we're moving to tapping out with fingers. So as I'm pushing into classrooms and they're learning more of the skills that they need for writing, it's huge to watch the kids use those skills and see the way that they're progressing. The students really were able to grasp each concept and then build on that. They can do a larger example in the classroom and then we can curtail it into a small group instruction for the kids to do the same skills. Their writing is amazing this year. Nice job! Awesome! Nice quality today. Look at how I can read that. And the reading too. The results that got me the most excited is seeing the kids being excited that they can remember how to spell a word or using their skills. If somebody's struggling mm -hmm. with a word or they're reading, how do I spell this word? And I'll just say, let's tap it out and they'll tap it down their arm and they've instantly recalled it. And I have to do nothing but sit there and help them remember to use their skills. So it works out great. Well, I think we're all a little amazed at how it's integrated into the writing. And we're really big into workshop. It was great to bring in sand trays for the kids to be able to use or the students that maybe needed to stand and move around. And when I work with small group, we can have those sitting in front of them and they can stand up. So instead of just using paper and pencil all the time, they could use their finger and they could be in sand. We do sign language for our symbols. I can just give them the symbol and they'll say, oh, it's an O. I got it. I don't have to say the sound, I don't have to say the letter, I don't have to show them a picture because there's so many components that kinesthetic or visual learners can attach to. So I think for me that was the biggest thing that I, I saw it coming through. I think it has benefited every student in the classroom. And I think they feel successful. All right, ladies. Good job. Good job, <laughs> Kylie. They wanted to see all your awesome work. <laughs>